In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this React application, which is a color picker. You select a color, and depending on which color you choose, we basically update this box that displays the color. And also, we update this color code. And to be able to achieve this, we're going to use use state hook and click handler functions. And I will be explaining every line of code. So let's get into it. I have my React application set up. If you don't know how to create one, I have a video about it. Just click on the card and watch that video. Now, in the source folder, we're going to get rid of some of these files that we're not going to need. Let's delete this assets folder, this app.css file. Let's delete everything inside this index.css. And in the app.jsx file, delete all of these imports. Let's clean up this app component as well. And now that we have an empty page, we can start creating the color picker. First, we're going to create a component in the source folder. Let's name it color picker.jsx. Now I'm going to use a shortcut to create this component. And to be able to use shortcuts to create components, you need to install this extension, React Native Snippets. Install this, and after you install it, type RAFCE, and this is going to create a component using arrow function. And it is going to take the name of this function from the name of this file. And you can delete this import React, it's not necessary anymore. And let's also import this color picker into app.jsx. And to style this component, we can create a separate CSS file, but we're just going to use this index.css later. Now let's start to create the component itself. We're going to create the HTML first, style it, and then create the functionality. First, we are going to create a container for the color picker. And let's create a h1 color picker. And right under this, we are going to create this div named color display. And this is going to be the box that we are going to display the color you choose. And right under this, we're going to create a paragraph tag, selected color. And this is where we're going to display the color code. And right under this, we're going to create a label, select a color. And the input is going to be right under it. The type is going to be color. For now, this is it with the HTML. We are going to style it now. And before we styling it, let's import this index.css into this component. And after we import it, now we can start styling. And let's also close this app.jsx. First, let's reset the margin and padding box sizing to border box and let's select the font as well it doesn't matter which font you choose and let's select the body i'm gonna make it cover the whole page using 100 vh you're gonna center everything in the middle using display flex align items center and justify content center and for the background i'm gonna copy and paste this color in here if you want to use the same color just pause the video and type down the same and now the container, I'm going to make the height 550 pixels with 450. And we're going to use display flex again to center everything. I'm going to change the flex direction to column because we want everything to be stacked on top of each other. Let's align everything in the center. Align the text as well create a little gap between those elements and make the background white a little border radius as well and let's set a box shadow and this color display div that we are going to display the color inside let's make the height 
300 and width 300 the same border radius and a little border and let's make that input bigger as well a little border radius and padding and the styling is done but the font didn't work and I'm not going to try to fix it right now, it doesn't matter. And finally, to create the functionality, we are going to use use state. So let's import it at the top. And now we can create a stateful variable, which is going to be color. And its setter function is going to be set color. Let's call use state. So now we have this color variable and we have this set color function. And whatever I put inside this parentheses is going to be the initial state of this color variable. So the point of this exercise is to change the colors. The initial state is going to be a color, which is going to be white. Now that I put the color white inside this use state, this color variable has this initial state of color white and now using this input we're going to create a function that is going to get the information about which color the user choose but first we need to set the value to color because we are going to change this later so this input has the initial state of white as well and we're going to use on change property and inside this onChange, you're going to put a click handler function. So let's create that function as well. The function is going to be handle color change. And the argument is going to be event. You can think of this event as you clicking and choosing a color on this input. And inside this handler function, we're going to call the set color function which is a function that is responsible for changing the state of this variable, which is at the moment the color white. Now inside the set color, you are going to target that value that you're going to choose when you click on this input. And let's quickly put this handle color change function inside this on change to get rid of this error. And also inside this paragraph tag, we're going to open up another set of curly braces to display the color variable that is going to constantly change when you pick a color. And finally, this box that is going to be display the color that you have choose, you're going to use style property. And we're going to open up another set of curly braces inside. And we're going to set the background color to color variable. Now let's see if everything is working fine and then we will do a quick recap of this code. Let's click on the input and choose a color and as you can see everything works fine. The color code changes, the color inside this box changes as well. So let's make a quick recap. First we import use state from react and inside the component we create a stateful variable using use state and this color variable has the initial state of the color white and then using a click handler function which is this handle color change function we target that value inside this input that you choose and finally depending on which color you choose inside this input variable we constantly update this color variable and because of that the color inside this box changes and this color code gets updated and this is how you create a color picker using react thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time